Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again today on my channel. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today I am bringing you the fifth of our process videos for the August Build Page series. So today I am using the three papers that I picked out from my Rosie Studios and using this sketch that I um, got from Pinterest. Now what I'm trying to do is decide which paper that I want to use as my background and which I want to use for the background square that goes behind the photo mix and then which I want to use for my scale up. Now originally I picked out the purplish lavender color thinking I would do that as my background but the more I looked at it the more I wanted to use that for my scale up. So my next dilemma if you want to call it one was having so much pattern on pattern. So I decided that I was gonna go ahead and use the rainbow paper um, and make it very, very busy, but I'm gonna grab out my Distress Oxides and I'm gonna ink the edges um, just to um, try and give it some definition uh, between the two. And I forget which um, kind it is that I will end up inking with. First though, I'm gonna go into my stash and I'm going to look for um, a tag it, if you can see in the sketch, there is a journaling box that would have been um, hanging down from the layout, but because I've turned it, I'm um, gonna go ahead and use that um, the tag instead of a journaling box. So here I am, I am just inking the edges with this, um, I think it's Concord Grape. And you will see that with by inking all the edges, now that rainbow paper um, stands up against the rainbow background and isn't, too, I mean, it's still busy, but it uh, stands up a little bit more than it did before. So now what I'm going to do is take my creative memory border system and I'm going to go ahead and cut that scallop border that is in the sketch. So I'm getting out all of my um, little border punches and I picked out the scallop that has um, kind of a um, like a stitched edge to it if you want to call it that. So the way the border system works is you have the, the mechanism that holds the cartridge and has the handle. You then take your paper and put it into the guide and you flip it back and then there's like prongs that are on the cartridge that you fit into the guide and you just follow it along and that keeps it um, cutting out perfect. To release the cartridge, you just push the button and it will pull right out. Um, it's a great system. I think Creative Memory still has it. So I'm just going and cutting, it's about one inch. I just wanted enough that um, I could have enough adhesive behind it. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue everything down. And I think I had it all straight, but you're going to see that once I get it going, I end up, it just didn't look straight to me after I had what I thought was having it all perfect. I, you know, only put glue on the one side of my picture. I got my tag down. I went and put everything in what I thought was um, doing it smart, glued it down. And then I look and go, yeah, that doesn't look straight. It looked like the bottom half of the rainbow paper needed to come out more. So then I started trying to pull it apart and I made just a huge mess out of the whole thing. So I had to go and kind of re-straighten it out and re-adhere everything. And then you can see that my border strip got on my picture, which then got adhesive on my photo. Now it's not terrible. It's not gonna be the end of the world. I print my photos at home, but you're gonna see that I'm gonna try and fix that without having to reprint my picture and not waste a picture. So now that I have it, how I think is straight, now you can see I'm gonna try and get the glue off her arm. So the first thing I try is my little rubber eraser and it, it's a gum eraser and it was doing okay, but it was kind of sm smudging it. It was a pretty big section of adhesive. So instead I get up and I go grab a Q-tip and I'm gonna grab my undo. Well, of course, my first bottle of undo is empty, so I throw that away, and thankfully I have another bottle of undo, so I grab that out, and now what I'm doing is just 
squirting out some. Now I tried just adhering it, you know, putting it on the Q-tip and it was doing an okay job, but not getting it quite off. So then I just went ahead and squirted it actually on the picture and then I was able to rub it off. And the nice thing about undo is once the adhesive is done or off, that the liquid dries and you can't even tell that you put the undo on there. Now, if I was to go back in tomorrow and look at it and go, oh, I can tell where I, I tried to fix that, I can easily reprint the picture. So I'm not worried about that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these scallop circles with um, a Stampin' Up punch. I inked the edges again, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm um, ink the, put a little bit of ink on the border as well. So now I'm running through and I'm trying to figure out where I want to put my um, embellishments, and I'm picking out my three clusters. So the first one I have, I put um, up and I'm trying to get it so that they're not lining up in a row. So the first one I kind of tuck above the tag. I have the other one that is on the left hand side between the pictures. And then I'm gonna put the other one at the top. And I'm trying to kind of mimic the, the sketch. The sketch had like a long border of it going down the left hand side. And then it had like another section on the upper right um, I'm not going to do that, obviously. I'm just kind of building my own. But, you know, it's, again, sketches are a jumping off point. So I've got my flare on there. I grabbed my sun. I've got the camera, the florals. And now I'm just going through and piecing together. I grabbed um, one of the stickers that says yay. And um, I forget what the bottom one says. And then there's another one that's something about, you know, looking cool or, you know, they were just kind of fun phrases that reminded me of tweens. And these are um, my two grandnieces, so I thought they were appropriate. Um, and now I'm just kind of gluing everything down where I think they'll look good. And I forget, like, like I said, there's this other phrase that I put on here, and I can't remember what that one says. You guys can probably read it now that... Um, that you know I'm looking at my voiceover doing a really tiny screen so anyway I have my son on there I'm getting um, my other I pulled out a rainbow I'm getting the florals on and the camera on and then I'm going to get this last um, flare stuck down I'm going to tick stick the florals behind again or it's actually fruit and now that I have all those down, I'm grabbing the puffy stickers that I pulled out after um, off camera, um, after I added embellishments. And these have sunglasses on them, so I thought those were cute. So I put one in each of the clusters since it's a photo of them with their sunglasses on. And the last thing I'm gonna do is add the enamel dots. And I think it turned out to be a fun page. And again, with inking those edges, um, I didn't think it was too bad. And you can, it doesn't blend in as much with the busy paper on top of the busy paper. So that is gonna be it for my layout. Here are some close-ups. Again, make sure you check out Christy and Moira and what they're bringing to the, for this month. And we will see you tomorrow with a layout share. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.